Now let's go to free fall. A stone is dropped from rest from the top of a tall building. After three seconds of free fall, what is the displacement of the stone? And what is the velocity of the stone after three seconds? Now let's write the given first. This is the time. For free fall, the acceleration that we will use is gravity. And then what else? Drop from height. Now this is something that you should remember. When we're dropping from a certain height, maximum height, at a maximum height, the velocity there should always be zero. So therefore, these are the given. Again, at the maximum height, the velocity is zero. Now we have the kinematics equation. And according to the problem, let's look for this one first. What is the displacement? So we are looking for the y. So if we're looking for the y, we have y here, we have y here. So we will not use this equation for this one. And then we have a given initial. We have time. We have gravity. We have time. I think this is the proper uh, formula, the second formula. So all you have to do is just substitute the values and then you will have a negative 44 uh, meters. And that is the answer for number one. Now always remember, it's okay to have a negative answer because that means if this is zero, it's below you. It's negative here if it's below. And a positive, positive eight, it's above. Let's answer the second question. What is the velocity of the stone at this seconds? So we've answered this one already, and now we're looking for the velocity. You can use actually this one and this one because all of it are already given. But I'll just choose the easiest um, equation. And if I substitute the values, I will get this answer but you can always use this if you want to you will still have the same answer next a football game customarily begins with a toss of coin to determine who kicks off the referee tosses the coin up with an initial speed of five meters per second in the absence of air resistance how high does the coin go above its point of release what is the total time the coin is in the air before returning to its release point. Now, this is the illustration of the problem. This is the initial, as stated here. This is the initial speed. But remember again, for the maximum height, even though it's not stated in the problem, the maximum height will have a velocity of. So we are now looking for the maximum height. So let's... Write the given. It started from zero. This will be our y is equal to zero. We have our y. And then we are looking for this one. We have the initial. And we have zero meters per second because our goal is to reach the maximum height. We don't really know the time, but we know the acceleration, the g. Okay, this is letter g. Here, let's check which is the proper the most appropriate kinematic equation that we will use. I think uh, we don't have time. Wala pala tayong time. So we can't use this too because we don't have time. It, time is still unknown to us. We are looking for y. We have this. And I think all of these are given already. So let's just use that equation. But before that, we'll, we'll just need to modify the equation. So we can use this equation. But you can always substitute it, then later look for the y. So, like in this problem, substitute everything here, and then we are left with y. And if you solve that, you will have this one. But it's actually the same. That is y is equal to v squared minus v naught squared divided by 2g which is the v is just zero that's why they are actually the same if you substitute your answers you will have 1.28 meters 
For the next one, we have the given and we found the answer already for the y. Let's solve for the second question, which is the total time. So we're looking for the time. Now, actually, this is uh, very easy. We don't have time here, so we cannot use this equation. You can use this one. We have time there. All of them are given. You can also use this one if you want to. So I'll just use the first one because it's easier. To get time, you just minus the 2 gt divided by g divided by g. Cancel. So let's just solve. And then, so we have this one. But of course, again, this is just equal to 0. That's why we have, we still have the same answer. And if you substitute the values, you will have 0 0.51 seconds. But remember, it says here, returning to the release point. That means it takes 0 0.51 seconds to reach the top. But it is asking the time when it returns here in its starting point. So all you have to do is multiply this by 2. And you will have the final answer of 1 second, 1.02 seconds. Let's have another example. A soccer ball is kicked vertically upward from the ground and a student gazing out the window sees it moving for upward past her at 5 meters per second. The window is 10 meters above the ground. How high does the ball go above the ground? How long does it take to go from a height of 10 to the highest point? When this kid looked at the ball, the ball is already moving at this one, but the ball is still going up here. And it will reach its maximum height somewhere here. But remember, okay, remember that the velocity at a maximum height is always zero. And after that, the ball will go. According to question number one, we are looking for how high does the ball go above so it is asking how high above the ground. So it's asking for this, this value. But we only know that it's 10. And we don't know the value between this one. So let's name it y2. And then we'll just add the 2. So that we'll, Now if you want to know y2, we'll just focus on this one. And the maximum height. At a max height, we have a velocity of 0. We have the initial velocity. We have the final velocity. The initial, the final. We're looking for the y and the y. But we don't have time. So we'll not use the 2. We'll just use this formula. Formula, let's modify it. You can use this, this one, to look for the y. Or simply the change in y. You can use that equation. Or... You can substitute it, then later get this one. So, as we have in this problem, we have y is equal to 1.2755. Again, you can always substitute. If you want to use this equation, you can always substitute. We have 0 squared minus 5 squared divided by 2 times negative 9.8 and you will still have the same answer but that is not yet the answer because it's asking how far from the ground so it's asking for this one so you need to add the 10 here so plus 10 and we will have an answer that is 11.28 meters from the ground for number two, it is asking for how long does it take to go from a height of 10 to its highest point. Now, it is looking for this value. Now, again, we already know the value of this one. We already know the value of this one. We already know the value of this one. So, therefore, we are looking for the time. We have this. We have this. We cannot use this because it doesn't have time. I think this is the easiest one, transpose v minus v naught over g or you can always solve it there substitute it there and then you look for the value of v so if you do that you'll have 
this answer. But you can always substitute the values, guys. Now, the last question is, what is the initial velocity of the boy? To do that, you can always use different starting and end point. So you can start with here. Here to here, which is 5, will be your, you're looking for the initial. And you reach the 5 meters. And you have 10 distance. You can always use that. Or you can use the second one. You are reaching for this one. This has already a height of 11.28. And you're looking for the initial velocity. Okay, so it only depends on what values you are comfortable solving with. So I'll just use the first one because it's easier. Now let's look at the choices. We are looking for the V0, the V0, and the V0. So all of them has the initial velocity, but we are only given with this one, right? We don't have time. We have time for this distance, but not the total time. Now, we also don't have time here. So this is the best um, formula for this problem. So if to solve that, you can, you are looking for this one. So to solve that, you can solve it this way. Is equal to V naught squared. But you have to square up the answers later. So let's check. And then, if you substitute it here, it's just um, square root, and you will have these answers. So that is 14.866 meters per second. That is the initial velocity of the ball hit by the ball. And that's it. Let's be fun.